Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, it's been a minute. Today, we're exploring how to make your AI characters come alive. Sounds very interesting. <laughs> in today's tutorial, we shall be joined by our two amazing friends. You all have met them in our previous tutorial. Buckle up, cause it's a good If you've ever wanted to make animations with three or four characters in one scene, this video is for you. I'll show you how to go from a simple image made in Nano Banana to a full lip synced animation using Zine AI. It's fast, free to try, and you can use it for YouTube, short films, or even digital storytelling. Let's get straight into it. All right, let's start by building the most important part of your video, your character. Open Nano Banana. To access Nano Banana, head over to Gemini.com, and in the search bar, we have this tools option here. Click it and opt for create images with the banana icon. In the prompt box, describe the character you want to create, then hit generate. Within seconds, Nano Banana creates a detailed image based on your description. Don't worry if small things like lighting or hair strands look slightly off. What matters most right now is locking in your character's core look. This will be the version you bring to life later with lip syncing. Nano Banana gives you two generation methods, text to image, where you describe your character from scratch and image to image, which lets you upload a reference photo and modify it while keeping the same identity. I'll upload an image of our two recurring characters. If you've watched previous videos, you'll recognize them. Let's change their outfit. I don't have specific colors in mind. I'll leave it up to Gemini to decide then generate. Now, before we move on, here's a pro tip. Keep your prompts consistent. This ensures every character generation looks clean, proportional, and ready for video animation. Once you're happy with your image, download it. We'll polish and animate it next. Now that we've designed our character in Nano Banana, it's time to bring them to life. Give them movement, emotion, and a voice. For this part, we'll use Design AI, one of my favorite tools for realistic lip sync animation. Head over to zine.ai. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Once you're signed in, opt in for a free seven day free trial. Choose lip sync on the main page. Once this page has loaded, rename your project up here and choose our aspect ratio. I'll opt for 16 by nine. Click on upload and add your newly generated image. Go to the left side menu and click on lip sync, which is down here. This will open a workspace where you can use your character image or use a video of your character. I'll opt to use the image we've uploaded. You'll see little selection boxes appear on the faces in your image. This is how Zine identifies your characters. If your image has multiple characters, this step is crucial. Click on each face in the order you want them to speak. For example, I want our blonde lady to speak first and then our brunette. Here you get to pick a voice for our characters. You can generate AI voices directly inside the platform. They actually sound pretty realistic or you can upload your own audio, whether it's your recorded voice, a text-to-speech track from Eleven Labs, or even background dialogue from another source. They have amazing options in their library you can choose from. I use their inbuilt voices for this generation. For our blonde, I opted to use Brittany, then paste your script here and generate. For our brunette, I opted for the voice named Hope. I think it sounds more like her. Arrange your voices so the brunette speaks after the blonde is done speaking, then generate. We are so close to 500 subscribers and would appreciate it if you hit the like button. Yeah. That's right, it pushes our video in the algorithm. Now let's focus on Design's latest update to their lip syncing tool, which allows you to lip sync up to four characters in a single scene. For this demo, I'll use our two ladies from our previous video. Remember them? It used to be painful to animate more than one character in a scene. You'd either end up with stiff, frozen figures or tools that could only lip sync with zero body movement. If you wanted actual interaction. Yes. You had to animate each character separately. We met them in our first design AI tutorial, which I'll link right here. I'll upload both this image and our current hosts right here and have Gemini put them in one podcast setting. After a couple generations, I like this image of the four of them. To create a unique voice for each of them, I will use Eleven Labs. I love Eleven Labs for the ability to add emotions to your audio. To add emotions like sigh or laughter, we'll use the V3 Alpha in Eleven Labs. Simply put the emotion you desire in square brackets. I'll generate four different pieces of audio for each character. To make your characters sound like they are animated in a studio, make them interrupt each other when talking. To achieve this, layer your voices in such a way that one character talks while the other is still talking. Incorporate filler words as well. Upload your audios and arrange them. Click here to listen to your audios. If you like how it sounds, hit generate. 
Within a few seconds, Zine AI will process your video. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, it's been a minute. Today, we're exploring how to make your AI characters come alive. Sounds very interesting. And just like that, your still image starts talking naturally with lip movements perfectly matching your voice. The results are surprisingly smooth. If you're enjoying the video so far, like and subscribe. Yes, it helps boost the video in the algorithm. We put a lot of thought and research when making our videos. Now, yeah. we'd really appreciate your feedback. AI not only syncs the mouth, but also adds subtle head and facial motion, which gives your character a more lifelike feel compared to basic lip sync tools. Something to note when overlaying your audios, especially when you have four characters, is it doesn't always work out the way you planned. And yes, AI offers free credits when you sign up so you can test everything without paying a cent. Now, for those of you who want to explore alternatives, you can also try Vave 3, perfect for influencer or faceless creator style videos. Now, VO3 offers a free plan with 100 credits per month. Both of these work similarly to Zine, but Zine's advantage is how well it handles multi-character dialogue, especially for podcast style or interview style content. I tried animating the same image in VO3 and it added an extra character that wasn't in the original image. We should hang out some more, yeah. Brad. It has been a pleasure. Yeah. And that's it from us guys. Yes. How about this Friday? Once your animation looks good, let's move on to exporting your video and using it for content creation. That's where the fun really begins. If your goal is to make YouTube faceless videos, this method is a total game changer. You can create a virtual host who explains tutorials, reacts to trends, or even interviews another AI character, all without filming yourself or hiring actors. You can also use this workflow for storytelling or short films. For instance, imagine writing a short dialogue between two characters, generating their scenes in Nano Banana, and then lip syncing each one with Zine. By combining the clips in your editor, you can tell a complete animated story, it's fully AI driven. So to recap, and with just two tools, Nano Banana for image creation and Zine AI for realistic lip sync animation, you can build, voice, and animate a character that feels alive and expressive. No cameras, no microphones, no animation background needed. Everything you need to get started, spied from the tools to the upscalers and voice generators will be linked in the description below. And that's it. You've officially learned how to turn a static AI image with four characters into a fully lip-synced, lifelike video. And that's it from us, guys. Well, yes. guys. It has been a pleasure. We should hang out some more, friends. How about this Friday? Yes.